Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol WFT. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame and it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out our levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Pretty crazy movement today, not only from a price action perspective, but good chunk of volume too. You know, not like it was way off the, you know, way off the scales, but still I would say definitely above average. And now the price is sitting at some pretty interesting areas from the charting perspective. So what do I want to do is scrunch this up here. And the main level here, and I'm not sure if it hit it today or not. Let's see how good my eyeballs are. Uh, yeah, pretty close. Not quite, but pretty close. 50 cents is a very, very important level. And in this point of view, really, it's kind of a double whammy as far as being important. The first whammy, if you will, is, well, there's just the green line here, which if you go back through the history of the chart, you can see has acted as support on several occasions. And once again, to be fair, looking like it may be acting as support once again. The other whammy comes in the form of this pink line here, which on my chart is denoting the 200 period a simple moving average. And even if you have a very basic understanding of charts, I'm sure you've heard of the 200 period and you know that when the price is up above it, then yeah, you ideally wanna see that level act as support and it can tend to act as support. And so it, it does make sense why the price did ultimately get a bounce here from 50 cents. Now don't get me wrong, and I really wish I could say trading was this easy. Just because you have this double whammy of support and because the price you know, got a little miniature bounce does not mean that this thing is for sure headed back up to 57 cents. Now, would it be shocking to see some sort of you know, continuation on the bounce? No, that would not be shocking at all. However, myself nor anyone else can sit here and say that a bounce is for sure going to happen because there is no such thing as a for sure in the market. So that's definitely an area to keep an eye on and definitely a, a very important level of support. Now, if the price breaks down through that 50 cent mark, the next key level of support, not until essentially down here around, uh, what is that, the 48 cent mark. So if 50 cents doesn't hold, it would not be shocking at all to see the price drift down to that 48 cent mark. In the event the price does start to bounce back upwards and, and attempts to get some bounce continuation, the key level of resistance keep an eye on is gonna be that purple line right there, the 50 period simple moving average, which is currently valued at 53 cents. So quite the eventful day today, and it'll be interesting to see how this one continues to play out on the week. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.